The way that people work today is changing and ever evolving, and that brings us to today's big, big deal. deal. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of changes in the way people work today. Right. Uh, one of the changes in office in this whole try to be make a communal thing is the open office, like open workspaces. Yeah. Where everyone's just open, everyone can see each other. Mm. We've had some of that here in this building at Ali TV. Some people love it because especially the social people that right. come to work and want to talk all the time. Of course. A lot of people think, oh, that's me, but I, I like to talk on the show, but if you know oh. me, I actually, once the show ends, I, pff, I don't want to talk. So I'm not really into the open workspace. I kind of like having my own little... A lady in the streets, but a freak in the back. Exactly, kind of deal. exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. One of my coworkers actually, um, one of my ex-coworkers actually wrote an article and he posted it online about um, this whole open workspace and he hated it because he says that it doesn't help him concentrate on his work. Right. And and that everybody, you know, just giving their opinions to him and talking to him, it just irks him. And I could totally see it because he's a little bit quieter, right. whereas I am a, like a social butterfly. Right. And at one of my jobs, I really enjoy it because everybody else is a social butterfly. So we right. chat, 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 chat. <laughs> but and because it, it is an open workspace, but a lot of people don't seem to like that. I a would lot. totally go to the chat, chat, chat all the time <laughs> and then get nothing done. Oh yeah. So then I don't think I would be very productive in an open workspace. What I think is good about the open workspace. I mean, I would be chit chatting, that... but. I think what's good about the open workspace is they let fun into the office. Right. You know, a lot of the open workspace concepts have ping pong tables and oh. beer and all kind you know, like stuff to make it lighter. So while I don't agree with the actual open space, mm -hmm. I do agree with the idea of kind of bringing a more a lightness. Yes. To, like to have to like, an, like, a, like a common area right. where people can like totally. hang out and that, relax and maybe go take a 10 minute break that's right. not just coffee, maybe a 10 yeah. minute break for ping pong right. or, 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 or now that weed is legal, let's be honest, now that weed is legal, we can oh. just go ahead and talk about it. No, because then you come back to work and you're like, Phew. No, are you kidding me? I work even better and harder. I'm enfocado when it's I work. Really? Yeah, it helps me focus. Sativa, not I would go. totally get like, like <laughs> too. That's, that's, like the I, that's my concoction, but um, <laughs> all right, now, now I forgot what I was going to say. Damn, I shouldn't have. Because you just smoked. No, I because I did it. Because I don't smoke on the days that we shoot. No, we can't. It's, well, it's me, busted. I am busted. Uh -huh. what I was say, well, Super so, busted. Oh no, that's what I was gonna say. Okay. okay. No, the whole campus atmosphere. So like, I've gone to you know shoot interviews at places like Pixar and uh -huh. Facebook, and they have like this campus atmosphere where the thing is they don't want their employees to leave. So they have their dry cleaning. Right. They have an arcade. Oh, they have a cafeteria like with everything on it. They have. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's the way they make it. So you know, sometimes when you make a really fun uh, office atmosphere, is your employer telling you, you ain't going anywhere. Oh, but yeah. it's convenient, though, because do you know how many times you have to rearrange your whole day when you want to get errands done at work? And, like, you can't because you're there, plus there's traffic here in L.A., or right. maybe you live far away from work. There are certain people that I work with at other jobs that work at least an hour away yeah. from their workplace, which I think is ridiculous. I wouldn't live that far away from work. Yeah. But it makes it easier to get by with life, you know? They that said is part, sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, part of people's happiness is to live close to where you work. Of course. So commuting for a long time contributes to like not being happy in the workspace no. or in life in general. Well, I think the problem is with what you're saying, Dennis, is that people <laughs> te people tend to fall into routines, and I think okay. routines get very dangerous when okay. you know certain people in my life are in are falling into routines and and. And they're this—they're so stagnant and bland, and they—they mm. they offer nothing to society. Sorry, uh, oh. but but it's a—you uh, know—I think mixing it up, even if it just is your dry cleaning, you're gonna meet new people, you're gonna right. experience new things. You might get into a car accident and meet the love of your life. I mean, it could anything could happen. That's well, very you helpful. do mix it up because you go from <laughs> one end of the building to the other, and you meet and you mingle with the dry cleaner. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I'd rather get everything done. Dennis trying to get more than dry cleaning. We all know <laughs> that. No errands, and then for meeting people, I'll go out and yes. party because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> Here's one thing, because everyone's so on their social media and so online, sometimes the work environment is the last social face-to-face -face oh. thing here. But what's funny, I'm, I'm gonna just bring people into our own world. So um, me, Bruno, and our co-producer of the show, Andres Valencia, we share an office, and we okay. have like our own little wing. and. Uh, we kind of like it, you know. We kind of like we go straight there. We're not morning people, okay. So we don't we don't want to really talk to anyone except maybe <laughs> each other up until like you know twelve, and then we can go over to the marketing people and have a conversation because they're cheery from like the get go. Oh, it's oh wow! Insane. It's and, and and I kind of like you know we have. I don't know, to get work done, sometimes you gotta be left alone. It depends right. on what kind of work you're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, what I have noticed, I mean, you know, this has nothing to do with that work environment thing, but yeah, sometimes I want to be with people, but then I'm like, why is it that after midnight, I like to get, you know, I'm able to get work done, it's because it is 
like pitch quiet. Totally. It's like so quiet that nobody else is interrupting me, calling me, nobody's Facebooking me, tweeting me, et cetera, et cetera. Well, me too, it, I'm yeah. a night owl. Yeah. I don't know why. Me too. Well, we all are. Bruno is, uh, yeah. of course. Well, you know, I also, um, I like, uh, you know, I, sometimes I take work home, you know, so because sometimes there's okay. some writing that I have to do or, right. Right. you know, some prepping, some research, and it's like, you know, I'll save this when I'm home by myself and there aren't people coming mm -hmm. in to, uh, by the way, the directors on my ear saying that I'm a liar. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Daniel. But I had a feeling. But some managers <laughs> don't like this open workspace place right. because if they have to tell something important to another employer, maybe even fire them, uh, it's like where do they have the privacy to do that type right. of thing, you know? And they yeah. like to have their own little office space or cubicle yeah. where you know nobody else has to be hearing all the cheese. Man. Well, last thing, what about the way Europeans do it? So a lot of them have four-day work weeks or or oh. five, six hour work days, and they tend the to be very productive. Yeah. Wait, but does the future mean less money because you're working less days? No, I think it should be the same amount of money, but people don't are, are less productive if they work too. Too much yeah, it's a for so many hours, and not only that, it affects your emotional life as well. Look what's happening in Japan with all these um, suicide ratings and okay. stuff, and they work all day. It's like the Japanese way. Da, 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 da. Yeah, day. many hours. No, for real. That's what I mean. The and danger of a routine. Their it's family kind of lives yeah. are horrible because yeah. when do you have dinner? When do you actually spend time with family and all these and things? And their commutes can so. be hours long in the morning and at night, so they have no time. Okay. Yeah.